Call the meeting over. I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank
I heard two counselors say to the supervisor that they would just go along with whatever the supervisor said. Is that part of town business? You must have very good ears because I didn't hear that. Okay, well, I summed it up a little bit. You can go back and, and see that I shortened it up. I only get five minutes here. You know the difference between a school board meeting and a town board meeting? Two minutes. We don't get answers from either boards. Okay, you got 30 seconds left. It was right then that I realized you've increased the town's fund balance by a million dollars over the last two years. Inflation has hit by Sainter pretty hard. It's now costing the taxpayers about 20 grand a year for a couple of rubber stamps. Now, I'm not going to name any names. Pete Moore and Bob Garassi. But don't you guys have enough compensation to have a mind of your own? You've been on the board seven years and nine years respectfully. The people are paying for representation, not a couple hey, of rubber your stamps. Time, your time is up. Thanks for your time. <clears throat> Anyone else this evening? Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Hi. Hi. Ed Schmidt, 3695 Hayes Road. I'm just hoping for an update later today on uh, the parking sign, no parking signs on Hayes Road. Me too. <laughs> Did he leave? Ken left, but to my knowledge, the county highway has not gotten a hold of Ken to go out and tell him where he can place sites. Is he following up with them, or? Yeah, he puts calls in, and it's a matter of getting them to come out and tell him where he can put the where he'll be allowed to put the sites. That that's as far as I know. And that, I asked him in January. I would have think I would think he would have told us if. Or you would see the signs. So if you haven't seen them, then it hasn't happened yet. Cindy Clark, 27 West Tennessee Street. I wasn't going to come up today, but this is what I walked into. I have to say, everybody can say what they want to say, talk how they want to talk to a certain point. But I, you know how I come to these meetings. I come to all these meetings for the last three years, four years, whatever the case might be. And I have never noticed any of the board members treat anybody with disrespect. There have been occasions when they have been treated with disrespect and people have gotten a little um, upset or anxious. I understand when you have a view, you're, it's a personal thing or you know they're passionate about something and people get a little excited. But in all the meetings that I've been to, I have never seen any of you treat anybody with disrespect. Maybe I was not paying attention, but I don't think so. And I want to thank you for treating everybody with respect. Thank you. Anyone else? One person left. No? Apparently, nobody has watched. Um, um, board comments. Mr. Rowe. Uh, yes, thanks for attending and hopefully everybody's going to stay warm this weekend, the next couple days before our, our spring lake winter continues. Um, Attended a fire uh, emergency services meeting last Saturday with a couple other board members. It was very informative. Uh, there's a lot of issues to address. Hopefully, one of them tonight we'll, we'll work on uh, with a, a tax break, um, setting a public hearing. And the just wanted to remind everybody, Ballsville Dining Weeks is in its last few days here. So if you get a chance, go downtown. I think a lot of the businesses, if not all of them, are participating, so it was good. I, I stopped out to Sammy Mullins last night, had a sandwich, and I was impressed. I hadn't been there in a few years, never stopped in to eat, so I enjoyed it. There was other people there. You know, it's good to see people out in the community, even with the cold weather. So hopefully spring gets here soon. Thank you. So I want to thank everyone for coming, watching on Pack B. Uh, no school tomorrow. It's going to be a cold one, so everyone needs to buckle up and stay warm. Uh, make sure during plow season, winter, I should say, no parking on the roads. I got a text message 
from one of our plow drivers at four o'clock in the morning that he couldn't get down one of our roads because both sides of the roads were full of cars and uh, he had to go around. So I'll make sure that there's no parking at the roads. And that road was Brundage Road, actually. So uh, we've got to take care of that. Thank you. Um, pleased to be here and we'll stick to the agenda. Uh, I've got a couple of things. One, I, I will address one thing. My comments the other, uh, some people are getting their words mixed up a little bit. This is a town supervisor. I was talking about the superintendent of highways whose employee it was we were talking about. And I said, I would go along with the superintendent of highways on the hours that he wanted his employee to work because that is his employee. I am not a rubber stamp. I'm an independent thinker. And you can smile back there and you can do it do whatever kind of performance you want to do up here. But don't speak out of line and don't speak for me. Other than that, uh, I want to say my heart goes out to everybody in this community um, who is affected by the recent tragedy. Um, there's really nothing I can say to make people feel better or heal any wounds. but. But we have a great community here, and I know people come together, and, uh, and over time, hopefully, that will help. So, thank you for coming out, and thank you for watching on Pack 98. Okay. Um, I don't think I have anything to say. Farming heads, Mr. Ozzie. I have nothing. <clears throat> Nothing. Thank you. Nothing. Okay. Must be everyone's got somewhere to go tonight. <laughs> All right. We'll move on to the regular agenda items. Uh, may a motion at the town board, having followed the prescribed secret procedure, to determine that the comprehensive land use project club is a type one action requiring coordinated review, having received no comments to the contrary, hereby designates itself as lead agency to, for the proposed adoption of the updated club and hereby authorizes the town clerk to commence the required coordinated review process. How about that? I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carried. Excuse me. Are we nope. good with a March 9th date um, for a coordinated review during the day? Yeah. I, okay. I, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I think that's okay. okay. Gives us. Uh, you say during the day? It has to be during the day. Yeah. Yeah, so, so this is state agencies and county agencies <coughs> to, to come and talk directly to the community if they have comments. 99% of, of the time they'll send us a letter. So, um, but by law we have to actually have a meeting. What, when is that plan? Uh, uh, Dr. County plan? March 7th. Oh, okay. I, I just want to make sure that they wouldn't interfere with that. So do we have to hold that meeting, town board. The, the, the town board doesn't have to. The town clerk can can, can do oh, it. Can I can just yeah, stand yeah, in here yeah, and wait for yeah, the yeah, town. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. going to say, you know, I mean. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you don't have I to. Didn't check no, 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 no. Okay. no I didn't that's, think we yeah, did. Yeah, no, no. I just no, wanted to make no, sure. No, town clerk can handle it all. It's yeah. just a receiving of comments yeah. more than anything. Yeah. And you'll know you'll get a copy of the letter. Yeah. So you'll yeah. If you if you're here and you want it. Yeah, but I didn't. I knew yeah. several people wouldn't be able to make it. I yeah. just wanted if we had to do it. Okay, okay. so we're good. With Thank that. you. Now, where there will be a public hearing Local after that. Yeah. So that's there's comments. Yeah. Then there will also be a, once we decide it because it's a law. So we're right. going to have yes. Yeah. Okay. So there's there's multiple opportunities for the public to mm -hmm. address it. Very good. May have a motion to authorize the utilization of up to $50,000 in fiscal recovery funds, ARPA, to support the provision of sewer services in West Phoenix Sewer District by the Village of Phoenix. I'll move it. I'll second that. Discussion. Um, I wasn't sure what the, the final number was. I know it was 43 and change to go over. 43,836, uh, I think. But that was that including uh, your portion, CHA's portion? 
Because yours was no, 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 no. That, that's that's. Uh, if you want to include that piece of it, that that would be additional. I don't have that number. I think that was like four four thousand or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So that would cover it. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, I put yeah. fifty because I wasn't exact. You're in good shape. I think the number that sticks in my head is forty-seven and change. You're in good shape. Yeah. Okay. So that's why it said uh, fifty thousand. So I had one question. Added. Taxpayer in the district called me and asked me, and I didn't know how to answer this. They got a bill this year on their county tax bill, and they received the bill from the village of Phoenix. Is will they receive? Will they be paying on the county tax bill, or will they only get a village tax bill next year? I I wasn't sure. That's something that. we because uh, I wasn't involved in that. It was. Uh, Tony and Al were involved in that, and so I was involved. But I received a few calls like that. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I want to get back to them, and because I, I think, think I have, I, think, I, think I, I think I can answer that. Okay. So because we don't know what the water usage is, the, the typically I believe the comptroller sets that this special district rate based on the previous year's water billing. That's why I wanted to get so so. What's on their tax bill for 2023 is actually paying back what the town paid in their for their water usage in 2022, because it varies. Okay. It's not an exact. Science. So they think they're being double billed. But they're not. They're actually paying for their sewer service in 2022. And then then they get a bill from them for 2023. 23, yeah. So the, the the village will start billing for 2023, the fourth quarter because we don't have the fourth quarter water billing. Right. Uh, uh, so really, this is from fourth quarter, what's on their tax bill now, I believe, we'll have to confirm this with the comptroller, is paying for their water usage for the fourth quarter of 2020 <coughs> through the third quarter of 2022. Okay. So that's why I wanted to make sure that the village sent out the fourth quarter of 22 so that we didn't have to add to their town and county tax bill that they get in January of 24. I think that's what happened. That's why they think they're being I know. Billed. But because I wasn't involved in it, I couldn't explain I'm, it to I'm, We'll have to verify that with the yeah. comptroller, but I'm 99% sure that's how that, that's been done in the past. Okay. Um, and, and, and if it's not, any excess will be applied to the county uh, sewer maintenance charge that we'll still have. All right. So maybe you can have a conversation with it tomorrow and I'll I'll okay. call you tomorrow and then uh, sure because I gotta return a couple of phone calls because I couldn't explain so I didn't give yeah. a call back. And we gotta confirm that with Jen, but I, I'm yeah, I'm 99 sure okay. that's how we've done done yeah. it in the past. How many okay. people does this affect again? Like 50 or 60? 47. Yeah. 46. It's under 50. Yeah. 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 So Should we send them a letter? We, we did. did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we did. That's that. why they got the we sent out a letter. Um, Early in the in the month, and they got the letter. So they, but they think they're being a, a double bill, and I wasn't sure. I didn't know. I don't think they are. Okay. I, I don't think they are. Right. Now, will they have a fee next year on their county bill for the district? They will, but it'll be significantly less because it'll only be for the county pump station maintenance charge. So, so it's going to be quarter of what they were paying. Well, and not only that, okay. people were being, some people were being billed too much, some people were being billed enough. If somebody had a, a yeah. toilet that was, was yeah. leaking, the whole neighborhood was paying for it. Right. If somebody was, was if somebody was filling their swimming pool out yeah. with their hose, the whole neighborhood yeah. was paying for it. Uh, um, and now, like I explained to them, it's your water usage. Correct. That's how, okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because they other, wanted to know about that, and I yeah. said, yeah, it's by water usage yeah. for the sewer. Yeah. One other crazy question, because this is an older area of town. If someone's not hooked up to water, how do they pay their, how do they determine their sewer? Fee? So what I, so there, there's there's one place that, that that applies to, and that would be the, the garage um, that I found. Uh, that's the only place that that's hooked up to sewer and doesn't have a water service and that's uh, went in and inspected it there there when the garage was unoccupied for a period of time it was never winterized all the pipes froze so they technically they are still paying for the water because the guy fills a 275 gallon tank at his house which is around the corner and brings it over and pumps out of the tank to, to run the bathroom in the garage so he has a working bathroom so he's paying 
He's paying, but he's paying out of his yeah. uh, home water service. Okay. But if you're, I mean, if there's a house in the district, they're a parcel. They're Correct. being counted now. I mean, Correct. I, but we don't, like the village of Phoenix, they're still in the district. I'm just trying to understand Correct. if they're, you know, they don't get a water bill, so how would they get a sewer bill? Correct. If you don't have, if you don't have water service, you wouldn't get a sewer bill. But I've, I've visited all the houses that we were unsure of. We looked at them all. We, we looked okay. at them all, uh, and there's a there's a couple spots over there where you got two houses on one water service, which is odd. Um, but that's what it is. Right. But, but, but they're still, paying for the they're water. They're paying for the water yeah, for both so houses. They're going to pay some. Yes. Yeah. Yes. As of right now, there are no houses in that district that are not paying for sewer service okay very good thank you all right so um, I'll, I'll have a i'll do a follow -up give me a call one. yeah <clears throat> okay so the motion was seconded any further discussion all in favor aye, aye. any opposed any abstentions motion carried uh a motion authorized the town supervisor to sign the aqua permit for the following hydrant installation Eight inch extension river grows uh, phase 2C reds. I'll move it. I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion to <clears throat> May have a motion to hold a public hearing on Thursday, February 16, 2023, at 6.30 p.m. in Lysander Town Hall to consider local law number three to amend the Town of Lysander Code Chapter 275-36, taxation referring to Section 46 or 466G, to apply with Chapter 670 of the uh, Laws of New York uh, 2022, an act to amend the real property tax law in relation to providing all local governments with the option to provide a property tax exemption to volunteer firefighters and volunteer ambulance workers and to repeal various provisions of the real property tax law related thereto. I'll move that. I'll second it. Any discussion? So uh, our town assessor was in earlier to discuss this. What this actually is, is an enhancement to the current law that gives a tax break to volunteer firefighters, ambulance workers, and um, widows of deceased um, firefighters and ambulance workers. That's a synopsis of what, what this does, but it's an enhancement for those uh, individuals that are affected by this. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carried. May have a motion that the town board, having followed the prescribed secret procedures, hereby designates itself as lead agency for the proposed Mills Road Water District. I'll move that. I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carried. We have a motion that having reviewed the seeker regulations and determined that this is a type two action with potential impacts to archeological resources and having reviewed the short environmental assessment form and finding no significant or adverse impacts resulting from the proposed Mills Road Water District, the town board issues a negative declaration and authorizes the town clerk to file a formal resolution with the New York State DEC. I'll move it. I'll second that. Mr. Yeager, you want to just uh, give an overview of what that is for the Yes, people? so so this is a uh, it is a type two action type two action is exempt under seeker because it is a, a and and the type two action specifically is that it's a utility extension however um, because there's federal funding involved in this this is not exempt under nepa classification which is the federal environmental protection act uh, uh, review process we have to go through this process uh, uh, because there's federal funds involved and part of it is they say you got to do the state environmental quality review and the federal environmental quality review to get the money. So we're doing the state environmental quality review 
Onondaga County Community Development, which is funded through HUD, is doing the NEPA, NEPA portion of the environmental review. But this is part of the process. Um, we have met our requirements now, and we're in a position after the public hearing and district formation to move forward with a formal design report for the water district and uh, bonding uh, and grant applications, and then to, to uh, bid the project. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carried. May I have a motion to hold a public hearing on February 16, 2023, at 6.30 p.m. at Lysander Town Hall to consider the proposed Mills Road Water District. This resolution shall authorize the town clerk to advertise for sale. I'll move it. I'll second it. Any discussion? Ms. Falcone. So with this, all the uh, residents that are affected by this, they'll get a letter from us letting, uh, informing them about the public hearing, right? Yes. Yes, within 500 feet? Yeah. Yes, that's within within the, whole, the whole road. The whole road, whole plus, road. yes. Plus, okay. yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, we, I would say that when we send that letter, we should send the copy of the cost estimate and the uh, uh, first estimated first year cost with it uh, with the letter okay so they understand what's what's going on and can you provide and, that to her so she yeah she has it in the map planner oh, report but yeah yeah okay. yeah it's okay yeah i can give it to you in pdf if you need it as well mm -hmm. but yeah okay. um you should send that information yeah sure. no it's exactly it's good information any further discussion on that did we get anybody to make the motion? No, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't get it yet. Motion G, I moved it. And I seconded it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, any further discussion? No. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? <clears throat> motion carried. May I have a motion to accept the map plan and report for the proposed Mills Road Water District? I'll move it. I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carried. May a motion authorize the town supervisor to sign the cover sheet and BSP-5 form for the revised River Grove subdivision phase three contract drawing as recommended in the town engineer's letter dated February 1st, 2023. Move that. I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carried. May I have a motion to appoint David uh, Stenzi. How do you pronounce it? Is that Stenzi? That's right. Stenzi? That you threw me on. Uh, recreation leader, part-time as needed with retroactive start date of 112, 2023 with a maximum of 40 hours per week. I'm with that. Any discussion? Yeah, what's the hourly rate? I don't see that on there. Plus it says part-time with a max of 40 hours per week. That would include if he does work up to 40 hours a week consecutively, he would be eligible for benefits. You, you gotta do part-time seasonal or full-time seasonal. You gotta use the word seasonal. Yeah, I believe you gotta make sure your yeah, annual hours don't go over like a thousand feet. Yeah. Ten forty here and You gotta update the you gotta use the different language. Yeah, ten forty is uh, a part time well <coughs> yeah, full time employee has to have uh, average thirty two hours for the entire year. You can be a part time employee and work forty hours a week. But you can't, uh, you can't go over. with a maximum of 40 hours. So, yeah, they could work 40 hours. You could work 60 hours as long as you don't go according to civil service law. Something over 1040. 1040. 1040. They, they do it on a maximum. Yeah. 12 months. What's the hourly rate? 16 something. We say it was on the uh, organization. It was on the organization chart. It wasn't a lot. Well, what is this individual going to be doing in the wintertime? Uh, right now, he's starting to plan for spring summer. So, the same thing he would do if he waited in the 
thousand again in April or May. So we had a uh, we had it in your budget. A spot. So his budget is just whatever right. he's doing now. It just means that he doesn't extend it. it uses, Exceed the budget. It's, it's using up the yes. same budget amount. It just means he doesn't doesn't work as late into the fall or doesn't do as many hours later in the season or at some point during the summer. Because he's got a set dollar, there's a set dollar amount that. Right, you can't yeah. see. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Is it 1420? That's no, part of the time. Sport, sport. Yeah. It's, it's like 16 oh, something. 16 something. Yeah. Like 1697 or something like that. I'd have to look at the organizational chart because that's you put in the, yeah, uh, the recreation leaders in the that title is in, in the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. and it's right. in the that's agenda. Right. It's just yeah. I hadn't assigned a a first name to it. Right. So and that's what I did with all so the titles on the agenda. I, I didn't assign individuals to that. It's just the title. Yeah. So we'll so we gotta put it in. Yeah. Anything else? I think it should say seasonal value. I think he's right about that. Um, I think okay. I, I, we don't have a rate in the organizational for uh, recreation leader needed to set up either. So we missed, no, we missed it. That's why we're putting this in. Yeah. Oh, was, was Dave Swensey in, or Stenzi? And there is a no, it would, have been as a title. Okay. it would have been as a title, but we don't have that title in the okay. organization. You need to say, thought you had it in oh. I can check some. I can let me check another thing. Go ahead. You guys can continue, but I'll check and we can go back to it if you want. I'd feel more comfortable with seasonal, so that way, okay. I that's that's not a problem. We'll put seasonal. David Stenzi for seasonal recreation leader. Yep. Did you change that? Yep. Okay. Did yeah. you look on the organization? I'm looking here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Park of Labor, recreation. a recreation leader, there it is, 1694. So um, what I can do is add, well, next year, whatever, we can add his name to the list. Well, I think, I think the season. reason that he didn't do that was if they didn't right. make it and we hired somebody else, oh, right. he would have a recreation like leader at that salary. Why but on the agenda, I he didn't name any titles. Yeah, right. so what we'll do, what, what was the... Um, 1694. 1694, so you want to add that in there? I will. Okay. Okay. What's that? Well, I was just, it's about a thousand, a thousand eleven hours at the budgeted, you know, what we budgeted for that position. Yeah, so we couldn't go over the thousand for you. So, okay, so the motion should read to appoint David Stenzi as seasonal recreation leader part-time as needed with a uh, retroactive date of 112-23 with a maximum hours of 40 hours per week at 1694 per hour. And I move that. Yeah. Second. Uh, second. Uh, okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carried. 
I don't see any need for an executive session, so may have a motion to adjourn at 705. I'll make it. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.